Let's hear from Jordi Sebastia. Jordi Sebastia is a Greener MEP from Valencia in Spain, obviously. Uh, could I ask you for your view on what you've just heard from Nigel Farage? I take it you could hear that and from the Prime Minister earlier. Well, uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. First of all, I think I agree with uh, Mr. Farage that we have to respect the will of the British uh, people to decide if they want to be inside the European Union or not. That is absolutely the first uh, thing we have uh, to respect, uh, the, the popular will. But uh, I'm not agreeing with uh, what he was uh, saying about uh, the fact that uh, if you are inside the European Union, you are not... Uh, making your own laws because laws are made by the Commission and also by the European Parliament where the uh, British uh, citizens have sent a lot of uh, representatives to decide, to work and to propose uh, different uh, legislations. I don't think that this, uh, there is a, an equilibrium between uh, the, the subsidiarity and also the session to, uh, of uh, Poetry to uh, offer, sorry, of power to the uh, to the European Commission, and perhaps I think that most of the problems that are uh, um, uh, in the mentality of the British people that they are coming from the European Union are because the European Union is still very weak. And sometimes uh, we don't have uh, uh, strong enough to uh, support uh, our people, our European citizens. And I think that, uh, of course, the role that uh, the UK has uh, played in the construction of this European Union has been very important. And uh, uh, the, the, the Brexit, uh, as it, it is called, the possibility of an exit of the, UK, of the UK from the European Union will be really a, a, a big uh, catastrophe for all the, uh, the European Union. So what happens if the UK does choose to leave? What kind of Europe well, does it leave behind? Can the EU continue to function? Yes, I think we, we, we uh, Europe could, uh, could continue to function, of course, but the uh, situation will be uh, very... Uh, of, uh, at, we have to consider that at the moment, the uh, Europeans we don't have a, a, a united position, for example, in uh, in foreign policies. We are not an important um, uh, stakeholder in the in, in the international uh, points of decision. And if we if, if we lose the, the uh, United Kingdom, then our situation will be even uh, weaker. And I think that uh, there are a lot of policies like uh, the, the common agriculture policy and the single market, uh, which have been sought for uh, all the, the whole European Union like it is at the moment. And uh, with, without the European, the, the UK, of course, of course, uh, Europe we will uh, we will be weaker and we will have a lot of, of problems. That's an evidence. But there will be also problems for the uh, for the UK because we have to remember that there have been a lot of uh, subsidies for British farmers. We are we are agreed with that. We have to support uh, uh, familiar agriculture. We have to support uh, people working in in, uh, in their farms, even if the, if the production is not so competitive. But they are taking care of the land. They are producing uh, our our food, and it's important for them to have this. Support. Support, and this support has come from the European Union. And also, I, I, I would like to ask uh, to, to the, the people thinking about uh, going out from the European Union, what will happen with British residents in other countries? For example, I'm coming from the Valencia in the Spanish state. We have a lot of uh, uh, British citizens living there. It's okay for us. Uh, they are Europeans. They are uh, from the same, you know, uh, identity, and they have now some, uh, some, some civil rights. They can vote in the local elections, for example. There are a lot of of uh, uh, representatives from uh, from uh, UK in, in our in our local councils. Uh, even in my party, we have some 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 British people who have uh, joined us, and they are working a lot. And uh, they will lose all these uh, possibilities. And I think this is also a, a question we have to think about. Okay, Jordi Sebastia, a Green MEP from Valencia. Thanks very much for that. Dan Zier, what you got for us, Dan?